Now that we are here and I don't have to rely on my keyboard or my phone to talk to y'all, let's go open up some packs <laughs> and do some mystery commander. Um, Oh, and you know what? When Chase says, since it's your birthday, uh, if we open up more than- Let's do a golden pack so that we can maximize our chances of opening multiples. And I'll let you choose which one we make a deck of. That's assuming we get multiples, which- Oh, which we do. We got four, maybe five. <laughs> wow. The Nimizet is flying hexproof from monocolored. Love that, especially if we're going to play it against white. Uh, each instant sorcery card in your graveyard, that's exactly two colors. That's the thing. I don't know if I have those. <laughs> so exactly two cards. And then jumpstart is you may cast this card from your graveyard by discarding a card in addition to paying its other costs. Then exile this card. Okay, I'm going to have to look at all my two colored. Oh, gosh. Okay, each instant and sorcery card. That's exactly two colors. So we want multicolored. Instant and sorcery. So what do what do we have? I want where are my fancy ones first? Invasion of Ravnica. Um so it is a mythic, so we can't construct it. When it enters the battlefield, exile target non-land permanent opponent controls. That isn't exactly two colors. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Whenever you Oh. Oh. Whenever you cast a spell that's exactly two colors, look at the top six. Oh my gosh. Okay, I see. Go ahead and craft that later. Uh, let's throw in Lightning Helix. Uh, let's do Growth Spiral. Get some good growth. Uh, let's do some Board Wipes. Why not? Okay, that's not two colors. Oh, I have to figure I have to make sure that they're exactly two colors. All the Command cards. Hang on. I actually don't have... You know what? I have Titania's Command, but that's monocolored. Oh, Command Tower, Arcane Signet, I should probably throw out there. <laughs> um, oh, okay, Lorehold Command, Quandrix Command. There's one more, right? There's Witherbloom Command, <laughs> but it's a freaking rare. So I threw in all the command cards that I own. Um, Eureka Moment. Let me look that one up. Got two cards. Put a land. Down for that. And we don't have to discard either, which is nice. Do I... Speaking of which, did I add Wizarding? Yeah. I want that card draw. Um, Death Sprout. Hopefully I spelled it. Destroy target creature, search your, search your library for a basic land card. Boom. Let's go ahead and craft these. Ugh, I forgot to turn off my work phone. I am so happy though that I'm at the point in my life where I have a job and that gives me a work phone. So I can like actually leave work at, at work. Unless I forget to, you know, turn it off. Um, I am... Okay, I'm not the biggest fan of this hand. <laughs> Should I mulligan? Yeah, turn zero win. Clearly this deck is OP. I'm gonna mulligan? That was not the right choice. Frickin'. I'll keep. If I can get two more, I can get Galazeth, Prismari, and then maybe, and then I'll be able to get Niv. Oh, or maybe I can keep drawing lands. Thank you. Um, let's go ahead and do unless you control two or more. So we'll throw this on the battlefield. Get the Mox Amber. It really doesn't matter which one of these we throw out there because we can't we can't cast anything anyways. Um, next turn we'll have three. We can do growth spiral and get two lands out. I don't have two lands though. That's the thing. Uh, we do have the three. We can actually we'll get lifecrafters bestiary unless they counter. Dang it! Don't know. Don't counter. I need a scry. I need the little extra help. Just have pity on me, please. Oh, whatever. It is what it is. Hopefully we can grab a land. Oh, gosh. Um, yeah, all we can do... Grow Spiral, please give me a land. Please, please. <gasps> Paul, happy Wednesday. Have a, have a good rest of your week. And I'm glad you could stop by. Loved it. Um, 
Okay, we got lucky with the land, but we are at four now. Well, actually, yeah, we could do Galazeth. They could counter very nicely. I kind of want to call them on it, though. Because we can do Eureka moment, too. Play something so I can have security when I play one of the very few creatures I have in this deck. Or maybe I can get them to counter this one. Yeah, I just, I want you to spend that mana. I knew it. Okay, well, they have four cards in hand, so what's the likelihood that they have another? Actually, it's quite high with the, those colors. Well. Oh my gosh, Mimi cast target non-creature. So if they have, if all their non-creature spells are, if they're just instances, that's, that's fine. Um, okay, so next turn we can play Niv. Play some instances. Oh, gross. Okay. All right. Various protection does not make sense here. So there's that. Um, okay, let's grab a Niv out here. That'll also allow us to play with Mox. Do you have a one costing? Oh my gosh. Can we get a land so we can do a mortal? Please. Oh, look at that. That sprouts. And you are untapped, sir. I mean, tapped. You are completely tapped. Let's get rid of this. Disgusting. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. Thank goodness we added basic lands. Oh gosh. <laughs> Bobby, have a wonderful night. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time. Ooh, okay. Swing at me with the 1-1. One, one. Oh my goodness. Now we have lands. I'm a little nervous, though. You still have two cards. But you have another. No, you don't. That's right. And I can ephemerate if I need to. Man, it's just... I have a freaking dinosaur. Oh, no! I'll resolve that one. Destroy all creatures. No, ephemerate. Freaking. The hand is brutal, but they're running out of cards. That's the thing. That's the thing. They're running out of cards. Um, Let's do Jin, because I'm a little... Do they have a counter? Okay, good. So Jin will help us counter. I'm just surprised they haven't played their, their... Are they waiting for another creature? That's the thing. I don't understand. Um, Let's cast this one. Ooh, we get two replicating rings. I'm down for that. And actually, yeah, if it's per turn... Once each turn. So we should save mana for uh, one of our other ones. So we want to save... Yeah, let's do practical research next. I'm down for that. Might as well swing for five. Absolutely brutal start. But we 100% have card advantage. And they're waiting for a creature. I was so excited too. Because we'll, we were going to be able to put some extra instances and sorceries in our hand because freaking we were going to duplicate practical research. My word. Also unrelated. These two as a planeswalker. I don't remember the name, but very cute. We were going to get to draw eight cards. And then obviously we would have plenty of instances and sorceries to discard. So we were going to draw eight cards, discard two with a net of six cards, so don't blame them. What I need to add to this deck though, I need to add the land that gives you unlimited hand size. Because, yeah. <laughs> Especially if we're gonna have all those card draws. Okay.
since I got her, she's been more okay with me picking her up. It still takes a while, though. Okay, so we have a red, black, green, white, blue. Okay. <gasps> oh, okay. <laughs> yes, hi, Pepper, bye, Pepper. She is done. Um, let's see. We'll do... This has white, so let's go ahead and use this for blue. We have... Last, we have Elshnorn. Delina. Okay, I'm not a huge fan of what's about to go down, but it is what it is. Okay, so we got some protection. God's willing, heroic intervention. We have some instances and sorceries. Okay, so I'm thinking Elshnorn. Yes? No? So there's two reds available. Let's throw this one in as a black. Oh, freaking, I need an extra white, though. Ah, uh, that's the thing. I can't do Elishnorn just yet. But next turn, we can do Niv as long as we do... Let's see, I have... I need green. That's the thing I don't have. No, I have green there. Oh, ooh, they have... Oh, okay, alright. So which one? So I have green. I guess I should play this one as blue. Nope, not blue. Oh, I don't think I can play Niv just yet. Oh, freaking. Well, I mean, I guess I should probably just do this as blue. That way I can have someone. Oh, okay, okay. Hang on. Uh, Laurel Command. I don't... Uh, let's do Archmage first. That way, next turn, if I have to play Lorehold Command as my only option, we can at least draw an extra card. So there is that. What does this one do? Okay. It seems like they should have been going a little bit quicker than they had. We're going to give this one protection from red, most likely. I see them looking. I see them looking. I'm gonna need the. I'm gonna need the extra land though. Gain control. Mm, no, thank you. Wait, is it until end of turn? Yeah, it is. No! Uh, at least I get to draw a card. It's not the card I wanted, but at least I get to draw a card. And there's the land. Not the land I needed for Elish, but the land I needed for Niv. So, but we don't have any dual colored lands. I mean, not lands. <laughs> we don't have any two colored, um, whatchamacallit, instances or sorceries. Okay, so they only have, so here's the thing, they only have Delina. So I could see them making a whole bunch of Delinas with Helm. So, if possible, I'd like to get rid of her. Yeah, Lorehold Command would do it. Um, let's see. Create a treasure token. Then I have three at my disposal. But I want to have enough for Lorehold Command this turn. Because I want to get rid of Delina before she can attach... He or she can attach Helm of the Host. My question, though, is that... No, they're playing mono red, so they should not have a counter. They should not have a counter, but... This is an instant. I could wait till they pay the five mana. I'm gonna try that, because I think what they're probably gonna do is attach it. Yeah. Okay, now let's get rid of her. Uh, three damage. We could also sacrifice a land, maybe? Question mark? Uh, <laughs> that would be risky. Um, target player gains three life. Get a little bit of a buffer. We'll delay Delina for another turn. Yeah. <laughs> 